It is the call of the whistling woods with its mystic silence around. In the mysterious silence of deep, ancient forests, a cool breeze negotiates across undulating hills to caress the leafy dell. The towering trees, with their green foliage serving as canopies over the forest bed, cut off light and heat to provide space for the epiphytes. Trees hold up the mountains and cushion the rains and storms. They discipline the rivers and control the floods. They maintain the streams, they break the winds and they foster the birds. Thus, plants and animals complement each other in this ecosystem in a finely balanced fulcrum. Forest as a renewal resource is not only a summation of trees, but a whole of all living and non-living components. Human beings are a part of this forest splendor. Forests are intrinsically linked to their lives and livelihoods and have become the socio-cultural heritage of many communities. The forest meets diverse needs for food, fuel wood, medicines, housing, tools, toys and utensils. Viewing themselves as the keepers of the forest heritage which they inherited from their ancestors, these people envisage to perpetuate through generations of posterity. Their ecocentric outlook views human beings as only one component in a biotic system of complex interrelationships between plants, animals and physical forces. The customs of tribal life, including their religious practices, arts and artefacts, social fabrics and folklores, have been nurtured and enriched by the forests in which they are living, in virtual symbiosis from the dawn of human history. <laughs> Forests are more than a resource. It defines their identity and heritage. Forests govern their culture, their economy, their worldview and their performing arts. Spring is the season, festive is the mood. It is the time when the forests are a riot of colours. Pale yellow mahua flowers and their strong intoxicating scents pervade across the corridors of the woods. Mahua is one of the most important forest trees in the country. Many tribal communities depend on the edible flowers and fruits for their self-sustenance and seasonal employment. They reveal an attitude of deep attachment to life, with all its pleasures and ecstasies, as much as its anguishes and tragedies. Life itself is a gift, and thankfulness is always to its giver. This idea takes a deep root in their psyche. As an emotional outburst, poetry and ritual go hand in hand and serve as an intimate and social objective. Singing becomes the core of the entire business of living. It has been this dependence of livelihood niches that forests have given people an identity and wisdom that stems from their varied interactions with the forests. Viewing themselves as the keepers of the forest heritage which they inherited from their ancestors, these people envisage to perpetuate through generations of posterity.
the traditional society took sanctity of environment for granted as a necessary precondition for the existence of human society. Having used forest produces for centuries, these communities have significant knowledge about their uses, propagation and ecological requirements. Since they often involve optimization of a diversity of products, they contribute significantly to the conservation of biological diversity. Leafing, fruiting and flowering patterns are typically seasonal, often becoming available during periods of food shortage or high unemployment providing important labour opportunities and supplementing income and products during non-agricultural periods. Their constructive dependence on forests is manifested through their religious belief and social mechanism. Nature worship has been a key force in determining human attitudes towards conservation and sustainable utilisation of biodiversity. Many trees have profoundly influenced the culture and civilization of man. There is a wide range of animistic conceptions connected with tree and forest worship. They are born in the forest, grown in the forest, and also die in the forest. After death, their Duma soul hovers around and plays a role in moulding the lives of succeeding generations. They talk to the spirits through the disseries and pray for good rains and the well-being of all. <laughs> The tree is the abode of these supernatural beings who protect the village and take care of its prosperity, and hence trees are a form of nature that represent life and the sacred continuity of the spiritual, cosmic and physical worlds. Plants are an important part of their taboos, totems, riddles, festivals and decorations. The amazing conglomerate of traditions, beliefs and customs manifest in some of the festivals like Sal Puja, Amba Nokai, Dana Nokai and the like. These tribals never use the new flowers and fruits until there have been the ritual celebration and floral offerings made to the gods and goddesses. Sahul is the festival of flowers and is the most popular of all the tribal festivals. The festival revolves around the Sal tree. The festival of Sahul is celebrated around the month of Baisaka and announces the onset of spring. No one in the community is allowed to use the Sal tree, its flowers or fruits in any manner until the Sahul celebrations. With much of the forest having been cleared for the purpose of cultivation, these tribals have spared a cluster of sal trees to serve as a place for worship. 
This protected area is known as the Sacred Grove. The Sacred Grove, or Jahatan, is an essential part of a Santal village. The Jaha era presides over the Sacred Grove. The spirits of the Jahatan are worshipped during the principal festivals, like Sore, the harvest festival, Baha, the flower festival, Erok, the sewing festival, and so on for the general welfare of the village. Forests are the subject of a great deal of myth, legend and lore. Since the forest serves as their very life support system, the social control mechanism, taboos, prohibition and the manner of utilization of forest products, their myths and legends remind them of the consequences. And the fear of any harm done to their nursing mother reinforces the symbiotic relationship of their existence in peaceful harmony with nature. <laughs> से खांदा की मुड़ो की पड़ो की एंती करी बंची करी अछु हमर आगे अनि रोजा शासन रहिला बेले अनि एटा हमर डंगर खे फर्व बली सिटे गुंफा रे थिले हमर लोग गुंफा रु अनि से मनाइले रोजा रो एंती चैत फर्व कोले रोजा रे बैठ गोले सिटे रोजा बैठ जाई गोरी तांकु बैठ फाई गोरी से आस करी डली आसी करी से गोर बांधी करी रहिला रोई करी हमर तीन खंड गांवटा the customs of tribal life, including their religious practices, arts and artifacts, social fabrics and folklores, have been nurtured and enriched by the forest in which they are living, in virtual symbiosis from the dawn of human history. <laughs> The symbiotic relationship of human and animal with the environment is manifested in the oral tradition and in the rites and rituals, the totems and the symbols. In sacred groves are manifested a range of traditions and cultural values of forests. <laughs> Access to most sacred forests is restricted by taboos, codes and custom to particular activities. Jungle 
बंगा बुरु को जंगल सुबे रेगे आले दारु सुबे रेगे आले बंगा के बुरु के रेगे आले बुगी वाले आले रोग बियादी वने आले एंडगे ले बुगी हुआ आले यार दिन मुंडी बच्चर उंडी रे आले ले बंगा के रेगे सोमन ठीक ले तायु है आले यार दिन मुंडी रे मागे पुरम आले यार उबावा मागे पुरम रिवाले � Damadu menge susu ne yakana isku ne yanko bentara jotana Okana tala gobi jere lika me ukere padure Okana tala gobi jere lika me ukere padure Sada go si de go sadu ko li ka go lunga me yada go muni ko li ka Jiba ne kata ve kata ve kate go budi da ya toy be Jiba ne kata ve kata ve kate go budi da ya toy be Plants are a fundamental part of the chain of life that keeps this planet going and the diversity within them is the key to their survival. Human communities have always generated, refined and passed on knowledge from generation to generation. Developed from experience, gained over the centuries and adapted to the local culture, traditional knowledge is transmitted orally from generation to generation. It tends to be collectively owned and takes the form of stories, songs, folklore, proverbs, cultural values, beliefs, rituals, as well as community dances. Karma or Karam festival is wildly prevalent among the tribal people of Deogad, Sundagat, Mayurbanj, Sambalpur, Bolangir, Denkanal and Kionja. In this festival the presiding deity is either Karam, a god, or Karamsani, a goddess, who is represented with a branch of Karam tree. Its celebration takes place in the bright half of the month of Badrab, in August to September, हाँ हागा में सिको तब ना आ जाता है जुपे नर्दुबा का ना पे आई मान कारम कहानी जा कर जाता दो पृथ्वी ओकल का हुआ सिर्जा जना इना नमता मने संजदार बो हो तापरे ले ले पे पृथ्वी टा सिर्जा जना जो तो हरो राह हंडी के को आमने ओको ओकल का बुन बाई धड़िया में ते कारकम को हरो को लंडर को जो तो राह कते जितेका दोकनाल काम भाई यह जाहू आये हासा पताल पुरी ते उड़न करते जितना रे तड़ा सकाम को बिछा दिखे जितना रे हासा को समान के दा समान के पड़ते नमता बुरु वीर जतो आ भाई जना बुरु वीर भाई करते जितना रे कारामदारु में सिर्जा आ जना कारामदारु सिर्जा जन पड़ते नमता कनाल का कागे कारामदारु बुन दिया � राजा मन विक्रम राजा आये मन के दाग आगे मन करामदार बन दिया नाम ता हाथुर में दिया आया हनगना का कोई तांता ही क्या ना इनरे आना तें ते कराम राजा के बीट किया बीट की पूरे ते नाम तां दो बहुत मने मन निदा सिंगी को सुसंजना अब वो अने आदिवासी मुंडारी हन को सुसुन के दाग को मन निदा मन निदा सुसुन के पूरे मसागरी की पाते नमता ही कते छावा जना कोड़ा कना हादबोती ने आथा कंकु मन्नु मासु झुना मोहु इधी सबूज इंसान उन्हें दाम व्यवहार कम दाम आधे लगान 
आम पूर्व पुरुषा पाचकी गुठिया तेंका ना जे हारबुन देवता भेड़िया पूजा नादू लाखा पूजा काम के आस्तीन एम हुर्मी जिन आखा दाम आज बिना एम उज्जा पल दाम उदगे लगन एम आ हरबुन पूजा कम दाम अनुतीन पुंपू उन्दा दाम मादी पेशा दाम डोयू पेशा दाम उसू आखा दाम ओना मागे सब आस्तीन माना लिया हमें इधे लगन आउ स्वर्गीय मानुत उनका बड़े मानुत आदिन पूजा कमा लगन हमें पूर्व पुरुषार्थ तेंका नहीं आ स्वर्गीय मानु जल्दी गिरी कोहा मामा नहीं आज के पुंपून जितने पूजा नो खात्री पुणे पुंपु कोहा मंचा ले आदिन व्यवहार करना है खाद्य आकर निवेदन गोरन कमा दाम ओंदान मोहदाम सीजा वादा में ओना मोहदाम आदिन तेरो पूर्व पुरुषों इधर मंचा हमें कथा हैले हरबू बिना ये माम हैं ये जाते हम कुन्हा जाते हम उज्जा पल दाम आज ना हम सेवा कमा दाम आज मुझे सम्मान चिया दाम आज ना लाखे लाखे जुहार मुझे कमा दाम Oh, 
ਫਲੰਕੀਤੇ ਬਜਸੇ ਤਾਂ ਅੰਦਰੂਣੀ ਓਂਗਾਰੋਏ ਵੋ ਕੋਂਗਾਰੋਏ ਤੇ ਲੰਕੀ ਤੇ ਬਜਸੇ ਤਾਂ ਪਾਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਬੋਕ ਪਾਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਲਾਂਦਾ ਕਾਨ ਤੋਂ ਰੋਕੀ ਦਾਲ ਪਾਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣਾ ਬਣਾਉਂਦੇ ਬੁਲਾ ਚੁਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਕੇ ਆ ਗੰਗਾ ਨਦੀ ਦਾ ਮਨੇ ਬਣ ਦੁਰਗਾ ਦੇ ਨਾਇਕ ਕੇ ਬਣ ਦੁਰਗਾ ਬਣ ਚੁੰਦੀ ਕੇ ਨਾਇਕ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਪੈਸੇ ਨਾ ਬਣ ਜੰਗਲ ਨਿਬਲ ਕੇ ਭਲ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਆ ਚੋਰਾ ਬੁਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਵੇ ਨਿਆਵ ਸੁਗ ਸੰਤਰੀ ਨਿਆਵ ਡੰਗ ਸਰੇ ਬੜ ਸੁਨ ਮਾਸੇ ਨਾ ਜੁੜਾ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਡੋੜਾ ਜਨਾ ਕਾਲਾ ਜਨਾ ਕੰਟਾ ਜਨਾ ਜੁਟਾ ਜਨਾ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਡੋਲੂ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਵ ਨਿਡੂ ਸੇ ਘਟਾ ਟਾ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਬਤਾ ਨਾ ਦੇਵ ਬਤਾ ਨਾ ਜਰਾ ਜਨਾ ਜਰਾ ਜਨਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਾ ਬਕਬ ਲਿਗ ਲਿਗ ਜਾਏ ਨਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਾ ਡੇਰ ਨਾ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਜਾਵ ਬਚਾ ਕੇ ਜਰਾ ਪਣੀ ਡਾ ਨੂਰ ਜੋ ਜਾਵ ਨਿਡੂ ਮੇ ਆਰਾਮ ਕਰੀ These forest users, due to their heavy dependence on forest resources, often possess extensive ethnobotanical and ecological wisdom concerning local ecosystems and their products. Indigenous knowledge of forests and the management of local natural resources have a tremendous impact on the social development of rural areas. Folk songs as a combining force between the two realms of nature and culture represent the gender equity and nourishment of nature. Tying the raki knot is suggestive of their cultural, social and emotional expressions in the domain of the forest.
Mito? Ora. Mana yang wan tiga eh? Ko ada dah. Anak taki? Bahar bahar mahur nam geroin. Nana mana boy mana? Nana anak taki mahuru nana nostoki ini. Ada nana de jungle itu nih jungle itu mana beraji hiat jungle ini nana ini de nostoki. Ayam nana ne beraji permana api sebab pi menjadi nana mana wan tiga eh? Wan di to? Permana sebab pi menjadi wan di to? Ancient forests link the past with the future and whisper the words of centuries. They are true living wonders of the world, impressing with their height, confidence and power. They are a criteria of harmony, moral perfection and have metaphysical significance. So forests must stay forever, as the inviolable thicket where there are wandering sacred animals, as the dwelling of old-time idols, as the shelter of anchorites, great breath of the earth and living song of eternity. Today, there's a growing awareness in the collective consciousness of the society about the need to have a secure ecology, Community forest management practices have shown to be given equal importance to ecological requirements as well as cultural and livelihood needs that a forest ecosystem ensures, thereby well integrating forests into the social fabric of the community. The history of forest protection dates back to the 20th century in Orissa. The first instance of forest protection by communities was recorded in Lapanga in Sambalpur district as far back as 1936. Many of them have been protecting and managing forest patches in their neighbourhood through community vigilance and by evolving institutional arrangements for patrolling and restricting access and regulating use of forest. आउच आमरो सातो कोचिया या तत्पर जो हुची गोटिये मुलरु सातो टेप दुखिया उत्पन्न न हुई आ या को आमरो दालकी जंगल और दालकी देवी बातांगो आमे बनदुर्गा अकारे आमर आबोहमान कालोरु पूजा करिया सुचु असे पूजा समरे आमरो समस्त प्रजामाने मिली तो हले ब्रिटिश शासनों समरे राज्य शासन गोंती शासन चली थला गोंतिया म सब जमीर अधिकारी थे ले, से ये जंगल को रखा करी, जितने वाले अनेस छत्तीस मशीन रे देखले, जे गोंतिया माने में जो जंगल स्कूटी करी चंती, से मेंबर मान को नहीं करी कोटे कमिटी गढ़ा गला, से कमिटी ये जंगल रो परिचालन आ दायित्व ने ले, जो लोकल माने समस्त जंगल को व्यवहार करी काटी जाऊं थे ले, आमर उस सही समय रू या को हमें तर क्या दंसा लोकन कर व्यवहार पहन चारों उस बाकी सब दंसा को सुरक्षित रखूं अब पुनी यही परी प्रोजेक्ट क्रम है चक्का चक्का करी हमें दोसा पंद्रह वर्ष पहरे पुनी से पूर्व चक्का को हमें फेरी आसूं आयार ऐसी गायी गोरु इत्यादि हमारे कटकना रखूं से कटकना रखी आम गोटे कमिटी करी करी कमिटी रे लोकन कर व्यवहार पाए जाऊं व्यवहार दमों ये जिन्स हो तार गोटे कमिटी रे नियमा बड़ी सुस्ती करूं से नियमा बड़ी आला जहाँ दरकर पड़ी बो से प्रजा दरखास्त करी बो से दरखास्त रे दुई चारी जानो सभ्यो ताको मंजूर करी बे से स्वाक्षर करी सर्टिफाई कोला पोरे प्रेसिड सम्पादन का कपाके आमरे आगू टा रेट सृष्टि है जी, से रेट रो सत्की मूल्य से जमा करी प्रिंट रसीद ने बे, से रसीद आकरे जाय आमरे जंगल रक्षक बा जंगल चपरासी, से आसी ताकु जेहो जगह रू जेहो कच्चो तार दरकर अनसर देखे बो, से ताकु काटी ने बो, काटी ने गुरी ताकु आमे व्यवहार जे, से घरेरे व
Orissa has a unique distinction of being one of the few states in India where there are thousands of local communities that are actively protecting and conserving biodiversity, along with meeting their own livelihood requirements. These efforts cover a vast array of ecosystems. <laughs> Customarily, these women folk in the Bijayanagar village of Deogar district have developed a unique system of collective participation in offering leaf plates for supporting a family during the marriage ceremony. On a single day, one woman member from each household joins the array in collecting leaves from the forest. Before collecting sal leaves, these communities have a traditional way of appeasing forest gods through elaborate rituals. Since forest has been the abode of human population for sustenance by utilizing the forest resource and the same time protecting it through traditional form of forest management, the folk tradition portrays a large spectrum of cultural traits related to the unique environmental niche. This idea takes a deep root in their psyche as an emotional outburst, singing and ritual go hand in hand and serve as an intimate and social objective. Indigenous knowledge of forests and the management of local natural resources have a tremendous impact on the social development of rural areas. We need to listen to the village voices and empower communities in forest choices. The social function of folklore, the cultural values and the literary value related to this age-old kendu tree reveals the collective wisdom of a community who made this place a place of veneration and worship. The reinterpretation of folklore remains important in respect of shaping the culture of future. Ever since Buddha Kendu was treated as a mystic tree, people in and around the locality adore this place with veneration and worship to seek blessings. The myths, legend and folklore constituted the core of the consciousness of the spirits who is parched across the hills, influencing the attitude of the community towards their acquaintances with the forests. Ethno-linguistic studies can provide us with valuable information on the socio-religious behaviour of these people. Many tales and legends connected with these denizens seem to have had their origin in the workings of nature. The myths, stories, beliefs, rituals all revolve around the mysticism of forest. Myths make the ground of the belief system. Beliefs are manifested through rituals. Rituals get expression through symbols, which in turn get regulated by myth. Girigobadam Puja has such rudiments of the cultural commitment for appeasing the god of forest, for ushering in good rains so as to provide them with food.
It is in this context that traditional ecological knowledge and resource management systems, practiced by the indigenous communities since ancient time, need to be properly understood and revived in order to conserve relict vegetation. The dialogue about forest is a dialogue between many actors having different ideas and perceptions of trees and forests, with various practices, needs, values and knowledge that lead to community living and joint management of local natural resources. A school teacher by profession, Sri Shramik Yogi has gained national and international reputation for his outstanding contribution to the cause of community forest management. जंगल तो सरकार का दायित्व थी ला तब लोग को माने जंगल सुरक्षा कर ले कहें कि अगर जो जंगल रोहित ला से राष्ट्र संपत्ति भावरे विचार कर रहे थे किंतु लोग को माने देख ले जंगल नष्ट हो ची राष्ट्र तार दायित्व नहीं पड़ा नहीं तेरे लोग को माने भाभी ले इट आमरो उपकार राशि वो इट आम जंगलों तो उन सेमाने तांकर धन्नो मनो रक्तो समो रुदायो अर्थो दे ताकु सुरक्षा करी आश्चर्ति ताकु गोष्टी जंगलों सुरक्षा एवे ना दिया ची किंतु सेमाने चिंता करने थे इट गोष्टी जंगलों सुरक्षा की कौन हो इट आमो पाई आमे जंगलों जगुच Ascribing values to forest resources is largely a subjective exercise in the larger agroecosystem. That is why we need to understand the role of the forest in supporting agricultural productivity as well as our own environment. <laughs> Emerging local institutions have the potential to be both socially just and ecologically sound management practices. We need to listen to the village voices and empower communities in forest choices. Oranero borsa, borsa ro orno, orno ro jibono, jibono sabdhata. Aga mi dinari, aga mi bansa thoro. Nirmala pavano e visud visudha. Tike chenai ba bindue visudha jala paya paani e tankaro andalon chali chhi. बर्तमान यही केशरपुर बिंजोगिरी पहाड़ जितने वाले आज की तीरिशी वर्षों तले खाली पत्थर थी ला पत्थर तले कौन टिकेट के मूल थी ला प्रथमे केशरपुर लोगों उद्यम करी थी अन्य मानु को प्रेरणा प्रेरणा दे दी ताकु जंगलों करीबा सुरुस्ती आरंभ कर चले। The passionate drive of Udanat Katai, popularly known as Bapa, from Kesapur village of Nayagar district, could push the concept of Tengapali into a thundering success. पुरुना कपा सुनाली नहीं हुआ, पुरुना कपा को जो भी से पॉलिटिक हो ताकु ठीक है नुआ पे ये करी हो ताहले हबो कहाँ बनी ऑक्लान तो चेस्टा करे हबो। These grassroots institutions and traditions are quite encouraging. Once one community begins protecting a prescribed forest tract, and natural regeneration begins, other communities observe the results and also decide to delineate forest patches and bring them under protection. बाई मन पगला होई बण कथा दिने भाबिलु नाही बाई मन पगला होई बण सफा करे पवन से लागी तो चले जीवन बण सफा करे पवन से लागी तो चले जीवन पीबा पाणी तो सफा करे बण पीबा पाणी तो सफा करे बण सूर्य सकती रु खाद्य रांधई बाई मन पगला I 
भाई कार्यक्रम बन जंगल ध्वस बन जंगल ध्वस जो अम्लजान कमीगला कमी आम कमी जग्रत हवा ये जंगल को सृष्टि करवा पाली ठेंगा पाली करी जंगल को रक्षा करवा से कम्य समस्ते समस्त शपथ नवा ए गाई गोर को जबत करी छेली मेढा को क्रय कर जंगल को ठेंगा पाली द्वारा जबत करवा जंगल को सृष्टि भविष्य उज्जवल हम से गोटाए पद लिखी आम श्रमिक जोगी कौन लिखिले जल स्थल बहन It is needless to quote, little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. Little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make the earth an Eden, like the heaven above. The modern concept of environment is embedded in the folkloric expressions, which is a positive phenomenon. It seems that the custom of tying rags on sacred trees exists in almost every known human culture, going beyond the borders of religion, geography and time. Cultural value of such objects is an important element in their protection. In the villages of Arissa, there have evolved a unique forest protection practice. The traditional method of protection has been the physical presence of villagers in and around the forest with sticks in hand, which is known as tengapali, the rotation of buttons. A bamboo, or any other pole, is rotated from household to household each day according to which the family is responsible for patrolling the forest. जंगल जो हिसाब से चली समस्त ही पाली भरा ठीक कर माँ भी मान जो धर कार आग पक्ष रोसे बस धंदी होती पार्टुंड कहीं हे नहीं आग पक्ष एम चल थी जंगल सुरक्षा ठीक थी निजर एकता ठीक थी मैं जंगल पाटा जो कर ठीक सका समस्ते बाहर की जीव से जंगल लोक भोर भोर आसिक जंगल आज आम जगीचे कल आम पुह नाती जगे से शिक्षा दाना ही आम दबा भिलेज लिडर्स करेजस मैन एंड वेमेन एंड यूथ हाव आडकेटेड अर्गानाइज एंड नर्चर्ड इमर्जिंग कम्युनिटी फरेस्ट प्रोटेक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप्स टू सेव द फरेस्ट फर देयर पोस्टेरिटी The ageless wisdom continues to shape our ethics of living and the natural resource management. It is now an acknowledged fact that conservation and enrichment of the environment can never succeed without the willing support and active involvement of the people. Gorachanda Mahanta of Budikamari village in Baripada of Mayabanj district 
has rendered a yeoman service in the conservation dialogue and stands out as a cult figure in participatory management of the forest ecosystem. I am very happy to be able to do this. I am very happy to be able to do this. I am very happy to be able to do this. दस हजार एक्टर जगह रे आमे जंगल गोछो आमे उन्नति करी। The skills and techniques they have developed provide valuable information to the global community and can serve as a useful model for formulation of biodiversity process for improving their general economic condition and ensuring the long-term sustainability of forest managements in the area. If we are to survive, our philosophy of life must be rewritten, not in words or ideas, but in terms of the ancient cultural moors and folkways, to replant us firmly into the earth under the shady trees. For trees mean water, water means bread, and bread means life. Let us strive towards strengthening these systems and institutions, making them dynamic and vibrant, before the celebration of life is frozen in the contours of time and space.